Hi, it's me, Abby, again. <laughs> you coming back from where, right? Um, I want to talk about depression and vulnerability right now. Well, I have suffered from depression for many, many years of my life. Uh, starting at a young age. Um, so I understand depression. Like, I'm working my way out of depression, uh, you know, like, it just, it's hard, it is, it's hard, and it's also hard to make changes too, right? So, uh, but just because it's hard doesn't mean it's impossible, and that's one thing that we have to remember every day, that just because something is hard doesn't mean it's impossible. So, depression, I uh, found that, I discovered with my own depression that uh, I was more depressed when I thought about what was making me depressed. And it isn't just like a chemical imbalance in your brain, it's like factors of your life, like... Uh, you know, poverty can make someone depressed because, you know, if you don't have enough to eat, yeah, that's depressing, right? Or, uh, you don't have a lot of friends, you know, that's depressing. And just all the beliefs that you have about yourself that aren't even true can cause you to become depressed. Really, it can. So, uh, you know... Change Your Thoughts and Change Your Life, that is actual book. I haven't started reading it yet, but I did order it. But uh, I do see evidence of that in my life, even having not read the book yet. It's like when you change what you think about, you can change how you feel. And uh, one thing that I read before was... Um, it was a quote or something and it said when you change the way you look at things the things you look at change so that's something also to remember when you change the way you look at things the things you look at change so now about vulnerability I don't want to make too long a video here but vulnerability has the word ability in it and it is an ability, an ability to be vulnerable, right? You know, vulnerability isn't a bad thing, actually. You know, it feels uncomfortable. That's why we think it's bad, because it's uncomfortable. And, like, I felt the most vulnerable when I was making a change, like, a big change in my life. Like, when I quit drinking, that was a big change in my life. And I felt vulnerable because I didn't have anything to replace it with yet, you know? And uh, so it was like leaving this big gap in my life. And uh, so when you let go of things, you have to embrace something else. And that's what helps you feel less vulnerable, right? But uh, it is an ability, and that's what I wanted to point out. Because it's important to s change the way you see things. Because the way, when you change the way you see things, the things you see change. Right? So, you can change how you feel when you're vulnerable, <laughs> you know? You can change that. It doesn't have to be uncomfortable. You can change that. So I just wanted to talk about those things, and uh, if I can think of anything else, which I probably will, but I just wanted to um, put that out there so that I could teach you something today. I hope that I have, and I hope that it's useful for you. So uh, thanks for listening, and have a good day today.